Welcome back to Easy Spirit 101. Um, I hope you all had a good weekend. I tried to come online and say that yesterday, but I have been having one of those days where some of the messages coming out, like I literally have one of my uh, Twin Flame energy check-ins yesterday was specifically shut down. Specifically... Like even spirit was saying, go in a different direction. So something I was saying there was not meant to come out. So let's see what is going on right now. This is going to be a general message. I am taking a, I really wanted to do a energy check-in. Like really, um, just, I'm still going to try to put one out sometime this week, but Every time I've done one lately, <laughs> I've, I've been cut off. So I'll take a break on that. Right now we have compassion. What else? That's interesting. Healing in reverse. We've got compassion and upright, but healing in reverse. Hmm. So I feel like someone is starting to have more compassion for a situation or another person. They may even have clarity over this situation. They're becoming more wise due to whatever this is. But there's some healing here that needs to be done, possibly surrounding with the green. That's heart chakra. That is one of the messages that was trying to come out yesterday. And I didn't get it out. But um, the advice was to tap. Someone needed to tap into some determination about healing their heart chakra here. Really diving in and giving it you're all um you know like people who who carve out time for for yoga or they go to the gym or something they're saying carve out time and give this that kind of energy that kind of effort this here is creating some sort of block for someone someone's got a very big heart chakra block that's preventing them moving forward in a situation or a manifestation of something. Nurture. Yeah, this person is it's a time to be nurturing yourself, whoever this is. wisdom i feel like with the owl and the wisdom I've got wisdom out here twice yeah this heart chakra here this heart chakra block is keeping you in an in-between state from somewhere you're trying to leave behind and somewhere you're trying to go but i feel like with the wisdom all this wisdom here you already have like all the answers you need Yeah, I was just going to say before this even came out, this card right here says romantic love. Someone here might actually be trying to manifest a partner, um, a soulmate, um, their divine counterpart. Uh, and I was just going to say when this future card came out, to stay focused on where you want, where it is you want to go, where it is you want to move forward to, like don't look back. Don't look back on the past. Whatever was in the past that was holding you back needs to needs to go, needs to be released. Um, and this heart chakra block, there is like a healing or reverse here or someone needs to heal. You need to open up your heart to the giving and receiving of love to be able to actually be in the kind of 
relationship that it is that you desire. And you may already know this with all this wisdom here, this nurturing, compassionate energy. This tumps over, so I'm going to go ahead and take it. Yeah, rebirth of that hand for a connection. Um, and I'm going to put this off to the side, but it says, salvation, new beginnings, generosity, and water energy. Water is like very much emotion, like emotional fulfillment here. There's a romantic love trying to come in, a rebirth and a connection. It's time to really dive deep into that heart chakra healing because it is blocking. It is blocking some sort of situation. It is keeping someone kind of partly in where they came from and kind of moving towards where they're wanting to go. And there's a big, really have fortune out here with this. I feel like once this situation is overcome, Once this situation is overcome, maybe even some fears involved with the moon, that may, might be part of what needs to, you know, this is keeping this stuck. These things are keeping each other stuck. Um, facing your fears, releasing fears surrounding love or a certain connection and really getting this heart chakra um, healing going and moving okay let's see what the way am i going to this what else what else what else what else yes conclusions are within reach Expect a powerful change. Your commitment is being tested. Immediately when I saw this, I felt like someone here, someone here really wants something, but they spend more time kind of like thinking about it than, than putting in the effort. Someone here needs to like really like show the universe how much you want this by going in and doing your healing work. It can feel a bit like work it. It takes some some effort. And after you make those changes, there there is gonna be it's, there's gonna be a powerful rebirth coming through. Yeah, have faith in your dreams. That too, I feel like maybe someone lost hope in this situation. Yeah, there is a big change coming in here. reflection i have a reflection next to anxiety so i feel like if someone here it could be it could be that when this person looks back on the things when they're trying to do their healing maybe looking at the things that are triggering them it causes them anxiety so that could be why they don't like are avoiding this this work or avoiding this healing journey or work or whatever it is but there is a need here to to do that reflection and to look at things and feel them and release them so you can be back in a flow Yeah, I feel like this can kind of go with ease.
and doing this work too is going to clean up your energy a bit and you're going to have more peace just you're going to feel more flowing more peaceful more loving more relaxed yeah it's going to be easier to surrender And when I say surrender, I mean kind of surrender to, to the universe. Surrender to, um, you know, your divine plan here on this. Yeah, fear. Didn't we talk? Yeah, the moon. Fear. There's a, someone has some sort of fears about looking, facing something, or maybe fears moving forward in love. Like this person's almost unintentionally keeping their heart closed off. Because they're afraid of something to do with a love connection. They're afraid of getting hurt or... Maybe their confidence being shattered. Afraid it won't work out. Yeah, caution. This person... This person moves... They, they keep like a wall up. They keep a protective barrier up around, around their heart, around their confidence, around their, I want to say image. For some reason, this picture is making me think image. I feel like this person keeps people at a distance. Because there's a fear here surrounding, there's a fear here surrounding like romantic love. So this healing work requires to kind of dig deep, dig deep into your fear surrounding love and connection. Yeah, and letting in and looking into the triggers here. What caused you? What do you think caused your heart chakra to close up to begin with? Kind of look at it and give it some attention. Maybe feel it for a little bit, but then then let it go. The more you um kind of let it breathe, like imagine if someone has this big giant wound over their heart and they've just been, you know, putting walls over it over and over again if you start peeling off some of these layers taking off the bandages and letting it breathe then you can start opening your heart back up and allowing new love in King of Swords energy could be air sign changes could be coming in um, around the colder months, especially around the holidays. I feel like this person is very fixated on like finances here, maybe some sort of they want to like complete cycles regarding finances. But again, this healing, this healing can affect your, your finances too. Having your love closed off, your heart chakra closed off can affect the way you manifest abundance. But I do feel like this person has had their defenses up and they're, they're going to be bringing them down sometime over the coming months. Yeah, there it is. There's that Two of Cups. That's that romantic love that came out earlier. You think there is kind of like this person is fixated on some maybe a financial situation, but also there's 
there's an idea of this kind of behind everything. Could be someone's counterpart or just like a soulmate. Yeah. This person wants to work with this person. This I have I do get this card up sometimes for me for um divine counterpart. Yep. There it is. That's the emperor. This emperor, this person wants to step into their their emperor role. But I think this is a person too who's got this heart chakra blockage. On the off chance, on the off chance you're seeing this, um, whoever this is, this heart chakra work has to be done. You have to open up your heart to the giving and receiving of love. But there is a victory. I feel like, again, we've got this Five of Cups coming out over on top of this ghost. This person is hung up. There's something from the past. Um, you want to look at things that are like triggering events. Triggering events from, it could be childhood. It could be a failed relationship that this person put all their energy into. Those are things that need to be looked at, like let the feelings come up, feel them, and release them. I will honestly sometimes do journaling work with, um, I will honestly do journaling work on just like loose leaf paper and then get rid of it when I'm done as sort of a, a symbolic meaning of I'm getting rid of this energy now I don't keep the energy around I don't keep it in my home I just pulled it up for processing and then let it go I'm gonna grab a few more final messages um I don't know why I pulled those tarot cards out of here <laughs> you trying to get on top of my my cleaning up game I was gonna shut it off but I'm gonna get a few more a little bit of advice or something here for this person or you if you're connected to this person playfulness yeah have some fun together um i don't know i didn't dig deep into this connection but when interacting with your person or this person make sure to come be a bit yeah Take it easy, take it slow, and bring in the playful, playful, fun energy. Ooh, it says, remember, love is the greatest healer. Balance. Yeah. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So it's not always just going to be easy. It, things are meant to come into balance. The path is clear if you want it to be. It says to listen to your heart. If you could do anything right now, what would it be? And to follow your heart. This is for someone who needs to pay attention to their what their heart is telling them to do. Instead of always following maybe what their mind is telling them to do. Um, that's a part of this balance here. If someone, especially with this closed off heart chakra, you're always thinking from, from um, a headspace, your, your thought patterns. They're saying it's time to bring that balance in by actually spending some time just listening to your heart for a while. Because the path is clear if you want it to be. All right, I will try and get a Twin Flame energy check-in done some point this week. Given as many times as I've tried to do it and not been able to for whatever reason, I think it's something to do with a message coming out. Um, I'm probably not going to do it tomorrow, but I might because I really, I feel like I need to do one. Um, anyway, so that's something to look forward to. I hope you guys have a good day.